Testing assumptions about black men. My assumption about black men is that they have large penises. Let's get into it. Like your dreadlocks. Right? <laughs> you didn't think this is an afro? What? Would you say you have an afro? No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably think I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. That's I'm out here for you. Oh, do you think black people should allow to vote? Yes. And obviously black people are really integral to hip hop, and so I've had a lot of experience with black people through that. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm 25. My relationship to black people has mostly been international since I grew up overseas. So it's actually primarily been just Africans instead of African Americans. Hello, my name is Oscar, and my relationship to black people in general is black women. What is this video? I don't really have relationships with black men or men in general, so this experience is going to be exciting to kind of put my opinion. You've in. never been with black people before? See what I know versus what I don't know. Okay. Let's get into this. A Pew Research poll revealed that 18% of newlyweds with one black partner were in an interracial marriage. Elvid. Ah, uh, that snipe, snipe squad sniper had a shot with him. Two minutes, but was ordered not to shoot him, and he only took the shot after the shot. He fresh. He said no men either. They're not gonna get. In, they're not even gonna get into some real like funny shit. Uh, just stick with the vid, holy shit. All right, stick with it. The pros are kind of... We're sticking it, we're sticking it. Fine. Mm, I'm just who likes saying. white people here? <laughs> Let's get into this. A Pew Research poll revealed that 18% of newlyweds with one black partner... What are newlyweds? Okay, in newly married. ...an interracial marriage. So Guys, I know none of y'all are, are black here. Your daughter dates a black guy. What's your first, like, um... What's your first thought? That's not debatable. You guys are white. Your daughter dates a black guy. What do you do? How little sleep are you running? A lot. A lot, Mango. A lot. I would welcome him. I'm dating a black guy right now. Ratio him. And I'm shooting them. Okay. Okay. So out of this That's where we stop. group of 10 men, how many do you think are or have been in an interracial relationship? Hmm. Been an Asian guy. Who likes white people here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not around men, so this is kind of like my first like experience. I've never even been in a room with this. You guys are acting like, you guys, are acting like uh, you guys would actually be like, yeah, I'll welcome him. Black guy, though. Like, saggy jeans. Looks like he's high. Back uh, the cap, wearing it backwards. That motherfucker. What would you do? And your and your and your daughter's four ten. Well, that's a character issue, not race. Okay, just the regular black guy in high school. You know how all black, like you know, come on, the regular black guy in high school. What did they look like? The 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 ripped jeans and shit. So no bigot. I'm not a bigot. It's like any black dude in the 1980s. Many men before, so like... I'm gonna say you have, just the cardigan. It's... <laughs> Yo, stop. Yeah, I feel like you've been in one. Something about your vibe seems like... You, you dress really nice, you look really friendly, and not that the rest of you don't. Jeez. It's so, it's so hard not to say something I'm gonna accidentally find offensive. I'm just basing it like, I think you would like white women. <laughs> the black guys in my high school were less black than me. The black guys in my high school look like Marquez Brownlee. Wow. Nike tag, Jordan 4 is vape in the pocket, backwards fitted. Vapes? I don't know about vapes, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you were really friendly to me when I uh, first walked. In case you wasn't in trenches. Damn, you seem someone very uh, comfortable approaching white people, so I'll say you've been in one. The funny thing with you two, I don't know why it is, but I feel like one of you has, one of you hasn't. Um, <laughs> I love this. Uh, I'm gonna go with you. You're smiling big right now. You like white people. Like, oh, You've been in one. I feel like you like white women. That's crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna say no, yes, no, yes. Stop saying no. you're autistic. It's crazy how me and gays in the same city, two different experiences. I gotta get back to Tampa, bro. Really made up with you guys. I didn't avoid y'all. Comp did. He avoided my DM. Yes, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I miss my city, I yes. miss Duval. If you are eight out of ten like white women in a racial relationship, please step forward and tell your story in three. Alright, 
interracial relationships with white girls. One, two, three, four. Four. Two. One. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, these guys don't give a fuck. Black Twitter, Black Twitter, now Black Twitter is in a frenzy. Black Twitter is in a frenzy. <laughs> okay, y'all misled me with those mirror statistics. Y'all misled me. No, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I love that. So, uh, I mean, environmentally speaking wise, I went to like a predominantly white school. So statistically, like, I was more likely to date someone who was white than isn't. So, okay, PR answer. Just say you like snow bunnies. Like, I mean, I've been in you a like it when it snows, bro. Relationship with my Hispanic girlfriend for about five years now. Hispanic, not white enough. All right, yeah, I'm not. Don't talk. Just don't type in like next like day, bro. Like we're done. Jesus. And Christ. so I've never been intentionally saying three times already. He made me do it three. Fucking turns. Oh, I want to be in an in interracial relationship. I played the video on stream, but you're too busy fucking playing 2K. It just happened. All of my serious relationships have been interracial, but they've all been with minorities. So, like, I've never had a serious relationship with a white girl. And I've dated white girls, but I feel Let like... Let me vibe. There's no way 2K... There's no way 2K is actually good. No way. I doubt it. I, how, what, what mode do you play? What mode do you play? I'd understand if it was like the new football game. I understand. That shit's hitting. Me and my, my team? Okay. 70 and 30 pro. Wow. Like, when I have, they don't wow. pick up on certain microaggressions when we're out that like... Avi 2K uh, in a box of fake new ones. <laughs> person of color would or a minority would. I got pulled over by the cops with um a white girl in the passenger seat that i was dating and my id was in the back seat and i wanted her to grab instead of me and she's like why don't you just grab it yourself and she didn't really understand why that might be uncomfortable for me yeah 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 i agree i agree i agree i agree me i think for me when i when i'm like in my we changed chat we changed we're not we're not we're not in the past. We're not gonna roast them because he's scared of the police. No, no, no. <laughs> Pussy. Relationship. I've been in like one with one white girl and it's the stairs from like I get from a What? Ikpon Ikpon Wosa? W. I love being pale. I love being white. It's good to be white. People yeah. that make me like so uncomfortable. I'm gay too. So you're not and, alone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I think in our community, it's just more common mm -hmm. to date like mm -hmm. outside of your race, mm -hmm. especially with the black culture and accepting queerness and stuff. A lot of black men who are also who also date men mm -hmm. tend to like have to venture out or find themselves venturing out for that community. That guy looks like a wrestler. How many of these men have been in interracial relationships? According to the U.S. Census, death glitches. What is this? Forty-six percent of black children are living only with their mother, compared to seventeen percent of white children. Out of this sample size, how many do you think grew up in a house with both parents? Hmm, man, this is hard. It's kind of hard to point to someone and say, "Hey, I think your father wasn't around." Like that's a that's a pretty rough thing to do. All right, how many people's parents are international? Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna say you, you, you. You, I'm gonna. I think that's a safer one to say that. Uh, I'm gonna say eight out of ten. Uh, maybe all, all had your parents around. I think every person's a coin flip, literally with the statistic, but also just with the sense of like everyone here seems like they're really well put together individuals, and I think that can come from both a hardship, but also from an advantageous place. So I think the way I'm gonna decide this is how emotional this question seems to be making you. I believe you both. I'm better than you in NCAA. I believe you have. I'm better than you in NCAA. And it, hey, okay, I'm not gonna click it. Fuck and I believe you, you have too, as well. I to know what honest, it is. I'm gonna just assume everything. I know what it is. I can't even like give a reason and base it off of. I'm gonna say no, 
Yes, 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 yes. If this guy has both of his parents, I'll end stream. Yes. Why no right off the bat? Just tell me. What's your name there? Charles. Charles, Charles, I like your style. How do I say your name, bro? Edits. How you doing, bro? Uh, I think it's really good. Oh, I would like let you little... eat Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Orderly and shit. Orderly, orderly, orderly. A little bit more dressed down, and I guess that was kind of the, like, the casual style of it. If you grew up in a house with both parents, please uh, Before you come t check in uh, chat, um, you got to check in with the general. At comp to IC and um, tell him all the information he needs. He needs to jot you down on the new viewer list. Take a look at what happened. Go, go, go. Take a look at what happened. Go, go, go. Forward in three, two, one. Oh, I told you, eight out of ten. I told you, I told you, I told you. Yeah. That was making me feel a little better. I grew with my mom my whole life. My dad was like sort of in and out. Like he was there. He lived in a different city most of my life. So he left when I was like three. Culturally speaking, what? coming from Africa, divorce isn't really a thing. Like I don't, I don't think, I don't think we've even, I don't, I don't know anyone in my life. It's frowned like, upon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's upon. You don't divorce. Yeah. So the idea of like not being there for your family is just, it's just incomprehensible. Me, myself, I'm a father. I'm in the military. So my son lives in Texas while I live in San Diego. Me and his mom broke up before I joined the... Navy. What? You did the same very thing your dad did? Okay. But I'm there as much as I can be, and I'm actually in a custody battle to get my son. Wow. But I know there's outside perceptions like, oh, he's a deadbeat and everything like that. But I prove it time and time again that I'm there for my son. It's just unfortunate that that stereotype's a thing. Um, I think when it comes to the stereotype... I mean, you're getting... You're, you're a great example, aren't you? ...type of men and that didn't grow up with a father, it's they didn't know their father. For me personally, I knew my dad when I was growing up. My parents divorced. When Are you I was saying in wasabi peas? Elementary Mando. school. After that, I didn't really have contact with my dad. So my mom has always been that rock for me, my superhero. I mean, I'm definitely a mom. Who's boy. Josh Gaze? Boy, when it comes to my mom, I call her on Father's Day too, just to say, hey, thank you so much for taking care of me. Has any of this surprised you? Maybe you should try thinking about other people's perspectives. That's, this is Josh. This is Josh? Okay. In 2001, the sentencing project estimated that one in three black men would spend time in prison. What do you do for Father's Day, Javi? Wait, when's Father's Day? Prison. By 2021, Next 155 week? black men were incarcerated. Oh, can you reflect on what you know about the relationship between the black community and- I don't think I can, because if I do something for Father's Day and I didn't do anything for Mother's Day, uh, yeah, it'll be a very bad um, look, huh? So I can't do anything. Okay, bro, we saw this. I have it right here. Like, Ben's seen this. I missed it. No shit. No one can stop me. No, no one, one can stop me now. No one can stop me. No one can stop me now. No one can stop me. No one can stop me now. No one can stop me. Okay. This where I at. This where I came from. This where I at. This where I came from. This where I at. Bro, he was singing his heart out. Okay, I'm five on tricks. I don't know if it's a kick. And you don't like it? So quite the time. Um, I love my mom. I love my... My sister is the best thing 
Poor Doug. Poor Doug. Alright, let's finish this video so I can go to sleep. And the police. Oh, the police. <laughs> um, I don't. Just in general, f the police. I already. Uh, you're gonna say fuck the police in front of every black person here? Really? What if one of these guys were police officers? I hope there is one. So you're. <laughs> so you're like, bro. You know, like, they're racist, they're pigs. Like, it takes one. <laughs> Well, no, one, there's one bad cop, but those good cops aren't going to do anything about it, so it makes them all equally bad. Out of this... <sighs> oh, my God. People don't... Bro, why do people think like this? The vid link in Discord? Okay, Dude, hold up. How many people do you think have been arrested? Whoa. I don't know that many people that have been arrested. I, one thing I can go off of is maybe like stereotypes, what I feel like maybe is, and this is not a reflection on y'all, but more a reflection on kind of the American culture and policemen in general. Um, I would guess Americans haven't always been great about dreadlocks and like treating that as like, you know, I think those get judged more. So I could see if you have dreadlocks that might make you more likely to like be targeted by the police. I think it's maybe going to be like one of you, one or two of you, something like that. Uh, maybe I'm saying zero is super ignorant. I don't know, but I'm going to say no one. I, I can see police targeting you. I'm a, it's, no. yeah, it's real. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're a big, muscly dude. You have dreadlocks. You're certainly someone that could be seen as an intimidating threat. This guy looks like Aaron uh, Jones. I, I honestly think, think it could happen to anyone, so I, I really have nothing to go off of here. I would honestly say all of you guys again, not to like give the... Oh, we skipped. Gym friends, buddies that I work out with are all police officers. Is this guy gay too? Never have. I'm not going to put one negative interaction with one person as a blanket on all, everything because I think that could be applied to any situation very intentional effort to like Go raise the children in a way that like prevents that right and I'm not saying this from like a positive standpoint like like these locks are a very new development you know what I'm saying like it would have never happened as a kid like right. don't wear hoodies don't wear your pants a certain way right so it's like by very meticulous kind of are all these dudes gay like I'm <laughs> like child rearing like contribute to <laughs> bro everybody's gay what like being arrested by the police but even that granted like i've had situ like many situations with the police mm -hmm. and i think that like the fact that like black parents have to be so intentional about like of helping the child avoid like the penal system right i so, said like the risk is just too high to ignore or to deem as like a uh, inconsequential thing what are they gonna I put like understand. real black people on these type of shows like real black people not some want ted ted like ted talk react like wannabe motherfuckers like bro real like you know the, the regular black person you find on the streets that's some gay dude you, you guys' perspective but i also very much share that this guy's the only valid one because he's actually from africa perspective. but i think a better thing to say is like the policing system yeah. i don't I think i don't think yeah, yeah. 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 like i i yeah. personally actually my experiences have been pretty positive like i've been i've been stopped by the police i was like i'm from new york i've jumped a turn, turnstile and police have stopped me but i was going to school and he was like oh you're a student just don't do that again they've been good cops good cops in my life but i think they're good people who become cops yes. and i think i think i think that's i think that's a better statement and i think it's important to note that in other countries policing is like for wellness and i think a lot of you guys critiques is like policing is militarization here yeah. or like yeah. mass incarceration yeah. Yeah. But a lot of places police are to like keep people safe and i think ours is like for order if i was in that circle those two would have been the last people that i would have ever to have gotten an arrest or an arrest yeah, record. Called so i think that was what was most surprising and the the lack of what percentage of black men do you think have experienced being called the n-word by someone wait they all got arrested what percentage of Oh, it's only been two guys that got arrested. I knew the gay guy got arrested. I knew it. The N word by someone who's not black. I'd say pretty high. I want to say like 90% probably on the poll. According to this. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's it's It was me. Study the percentage of black adults who have been called the N word or other racial slurs. By Wait, the hard R? A non black person is. How about soft day? Is that, does that count? 51%. Oh, that's lower than I thought. Okay. Oh, my N word. Or better, not good at all. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Out of our group, how many online? do you think have been called the N word by a non black person? 
I know a lot of y'all uh, have more African descent, but still a lot of y'all grew up in America, so that wouldn't necessarily change that. Um, I'll probably try to stick more to the statistic you told me of 50%, oh, but I honestly think, think it could happen to anyone, like so a I, I really yeah. have nothing to go I off here. I wouldn't dare to do that. I would honestly say all of you guys again, not to like... This Give guy me. is so gay. It's so he's like so stupid. Like he's really like really stupid. easy answer, but I feel like it's again. He has the most li far left sh like opinions I've s heard in my life. That he's like it's so far left that it's actually racist. Common, and I'm applying my experience with the word f it towards you know that. What the? F Why did he say that? But I feel like it's again more common, and I'm applying my experience with the word f it towards you're g he's gay. Why is everyone gay? Like, like they're gonna Jubilee's trying to make us think a fucking McCracken bomb. Shabby thinks that if the age is on the clock, she can get the cock 777 octotrigentillion 777 septentrigentillion 777 sextrigentillion 777 quintrigentillion 777 quadruotrigentillion yeah, 777 trotrigentillion 700. We're just enjoying our day, bro. Really. If we're gonna do this, why not just give me a Dollar at least. Seven hundred and seventy-seven novum gentilian. Seven hundred and seventy-seven octovi gentilian. Seven hundred and seventy-seven. Done some gamer in the OG chat. We've always been here, Alex. Sex the gentilian. Seven hundred and seventy-seven queen for gentilian. Seven hundred and seventy-seven. No, I, oh my God, bro. I really. You know we'd be talking shit about you, bro, because of this shit. Seventy-seven. You over gentilian. Just say it. Seven hundred and seventy. You know that. Like, I've heard things called, oh, that's gay, or something like that, yeah. I'm gonna say yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, no. I feel like, if not everyone, about eight or nine people here could probably point to a, point, a place in our lives where they can remember being called a racial slur. I think... I'm going all tap. Now, if you've been called the N-word by a non-black person, oh wait, it's still going. Please step forward and share your. Oh, decillion seven hundred and seventy-seven. Um, decillion seven hundred and seventy-seven. Decillion seven hundred and seventy-seven. No, nillion seven hundred and seventy-seven. Octillion seven hundred and seventy-seven. Septillion. 777 sextillion 700 uh, I don't know how to do it bro 777 quadrillion 777 trillion 777 billion 777 million 777,777 A fucking McCracken bomb Here you go my bat Thank you Story in three Two, one. Whoa. Thank you for Okay, so I was more right with my initially high estimate, yeah. We were actually talking about this earlier, and I, I'm, I let my, like, my friends call me the N-word, and my friends are not black, so like, for me, it's not like, a, not that crazy thing. <laughs> They're not white, so don't get it. <laughs> it was like, it's my chance. But like, for me, like, like my, my, like, I guess my my rule around the n-word is a little different than I think a lot of other people and so like my friends are Hispanic and so like for me and I, I also grew up like I, I'm from New York I'm from the Bronx and so I grew up around like Puerto Rican and Dominicans and so for me it's like we're all we all live this struggle together for me to now then push myself and say oh I'm I, I can say this but you guys can't is weird considering we all grew up together and like we all grew up in the same environment and this we have pretty much had the same experiences at ball. the end of the day this we're all poor so it was like why why yeah. quibble over this one word when Ooh. there's a lot, I don't think there's so. a lot more okay. to, to like quibble about yeah Not I would this say one. for me I had a friend I, I'd tell this guy right here straight up are you ready and white friend <laughs> And we were just hanging out, and he said it, but it wasn't so much malice Thank behind you, it. Thank you, bro. Thank you for like, the bits. You know, the friend type of vibe. And in that moment, you know, I just thought to myself, okay, you don't have why to is give me a hundred bits every time, bro. Just don't spam. Is he saying it 
to be funny, to be cool, to try to fit in. And it was just one of those things where he's like, oh, well, you said it, why can't I say it? Mm. And in that moment, you know, it started really thinking about, okay, the use of the word, when do we say it? Or do we even have that line of, if you say it, I can say it kind of thing. So at that point, I kind of just stopped saying it around him because it's like- Where you grow up around the same struggle. I don't want to give him that. I've never been called it. You've worded the question in a way to where I'm, I'm back here, but um, I've been called a racial slur. It just wasn't by someone not black. Literally this morning, I was called a uh, colorist. Uh, <laughs> the C word uh, rhymes with soon because they saw a previous video I was on. It was a Nectar video uh, where we were swiping on women, basically, and I swiped on a black woman, and this person was upset that I didn't Oh, this black Twitter people in real life? Choose the one black person that I encountered. Three years ago, I would say, uh, my pro debut in boxing, Rollins, South Carolina, never forget. Coming out with the entrance, um, walking, the opponent. Why do they all sound zesty? Bro, did they have a f orgy after this? It was coming out too, and he had get that d out of here. You know, that one didn't rub me off the wrong way because um, the guy was going to sleep regardless. Yeah, violence. Yeah, we fuck with that. Violence. Like, yeah. You know, I'm going to stay on the feet regardless. Mm. But um, afterwards, again, it doesn't bother me. Um, at the end of the day, I went up to him. He looked at me, he was like, oh, good knockout, boy. I'm like, yeah, keep bringing him on. I'll keep knocking him out. Um, <laughs> and I kept on moving all the way back. I run into that a lot. I don't mind they must it. Be it had is what origin. it is. I'll just With stay lotion, blessed. With lotion, lubricant, you know, oil, and Whoa. anal beads. Ew. I get called racial slurs every day. I play Siege. So I'm going to have Andrew close your eyes. Because we're talking about in person. And... <laughs> you call the hard R mother black. Who calls you in a hard R? <laughs> what? <laughs> That reminds me of like Daniel Larson calling the Mexican guy a hard R once because he wouldn't leave his porch. <laughs> gotta take money. Step forward if you think Andrew. Why? Joe, Oscar, Why are you getting called a hard R? It doesn't make and three. It's like remember when Boogie called the white guy who went on his house a hard R. Two. So stupid. Three, now we're gonna give you guys your <laughs> scores. Uh -oh. Let's start with. He he's invited the cookout. <laughs> And for Andrew, you had zero people. I respectfully don't want to be at the cookout. <sighs> like I'm not saw is way better. <laughs> no, that, that makes sense. What do you, why do you think that is? <laughs> I think it's because I didn't know a certain hairstyle. I think that really got me. I think I said some stuff that revealed that uh, certain lack of knowledge on a lot of these topics and yeah yeah but i just feel like it's, cookout it's with hard lots hard to of sausages. look at a statistic and attribute that to like a whole group of people and a black experience in general like i never pretend to say like yeah i know everything about the white experience based off a statistic because i've never woken up as a white man oh well this guy I already got like gray hair in my shoes like we're all different even though we're all black men here we all have different experiences so um, that's kind of one of the reasons why I, I, I'm going to reveal to myself. Like, I didn't step forward for any of the three guys. I feel like it's just you're never going to know. That's like what it's like to be actually in relationships with the police and like like certain racial dynamics that like, okay, if I don't I would have voted for you. Now I'm looking back like a fucking McCracken bomb. The what is that? Fast. Pink gets pussy. Okay. 